Adventurous kids explore with education and learning what a wildlife is in the Everglades. I want to explore the museum of discovery science. What plants do butterflies like? I want to know about Key West. Adventurous kids learning and fun. Adventurous kids. Today I'm going to tell you about fingerprints. A fingerprint is a trace of human finger left on a surface. Human fingers have a small structure on them, like mountains and valleys. These structures are unique to every human. They can be used as means of identification. No two are the same. Not even on the same person or on identical twins. Speaking of twins, if you want to know about twins, see our other video on twins. Really good episode. I love that one. That one was really good. They are even more unique in your DNA. The scientific name for fingerprints is dermatologist. Unique fingerprints are formed seven months after conception, although the size of each finger will continue to grow from pre-birth through childhood and into adulthood. The relative position of ridges with their loops, deltas, and arches will remain the same. Running your fingertips over a surface creates tiny vibrations. This helps nerves in the fingertips to feel even the finest textures. People used to think the raised lines of skin helped us grip objects. That's why they're called friction ridges. But it turns out that fingerprints actually reduce your grip on whatever you're touching. These three types are the starting point for all fingerprint comparisons. Analysts look at the print in further details to spot the unique features. Loops. These can point either towards the thumb or the little finger and are the most common fingerprint type at 60% occurrence. Whirls. These circular or spiral patterns come in several different forms and make up about 35% of fingerprints. Arches. This rare type is wave-like in shape and account for percent of the population fingerprints. It may not surprise you to be told that chimpanzees have finger ridges like ours which produce fingerprints. They are, after all, our nearest relatives in the animal kingdom. However, there is much more to an unexpected animal with fingerprints so close to ours that they could confuse the police. The koala. The koala is a marsupial, despite its commonly used name koala bear. It is only found in Australia, and its last common ancestor with humans was 160. 50 million years ago. First used in 1900 to identify people, fingerprints are now widely accepted as a form of identity proof. Whether you are unlocking your phone, entering a guarded building, the unique nature of our fingerprints allow for secure recognition. Did you realize that you don't have to dip your fingers in ink to leave fingerprints? Wet and body oils constantly pushed out through tiny pores in our skin. These substances coat the ridges and lines of your fingers. When you touch something, you transfer these substances to whatever you touch, leaving an impression of the ridges and lines on your fingers. These fingerprints, called latent fingerprints, usually can be seen by the naked eye. However, you can sometimes see them on certain objects such as a glass bottle. Scientists have known about these invisible fingerprints since the 19th century. As early as 1892, English scientist Sir Francis Galton wrote a book about using fingerprints to solve crimes. It was not until 1896, however, that Sir Edward Richard Henry would develop a way to classify fingerprints based upon their general ridge patterns, loop 
whorls and arches Henry's system of fingerprint identification or dactyloscopy has been modified slightly over time today it is still used by law enforcement agencies all over the world when a fingerprint is found at a crime scene it is known as a finger mark or latent print cross-checking these against other prints in police databases has the potential to link a series of crimes together or to place a suspect at the scene of the crime the eighth fingers are not the only part of the body that has this kind of skin it is also found on the palms and soles of our feet rigid skin is even found on the hands and feet of primates more generally as well as some other mammals and some primates even have it on the underside of their tails thanks so much for watching this episode of adventurous kids Adventurous kids. What was the most interesting fact? Adventurous kids. Adventurous kids. Adventurous kids. Adventurous.